What's going on? Guardians J. Coon Prime here with another Destiny 2 update. Kind of getting back into the swing of these. And there was another Destiny 2 Into the Light developer stream today. And I'm going to kind of give you the Cliff Notes version of it just in case you missed it. As always, if you enjoy the content and find it informative, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to stay up to date with Destiny 2 stuff and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. So first and foremost, this developer live stream was all about the returning exotic missions and the speculations were true it looks like the whisper and zero hour are slated to return with into the light along with craftable versions of the exotic weapons whisper of the worm and outbreak perfected so we have a couple of tidbits of information on this first and foremost if you already had the catalyst for these two weapons you're already on easy street you can immediately craft it and immediately apply the catalyst. For those of you that never got this the first time around or did not get to experience Whisper or Zero Hour while it was originally in the game, this is your chance to check them out. They're two of the best missions in Destiny history by far. My personal favorite being Zero Hour. I am a big fan of that mission. <clears throat> Zero Hour will be slated to release in May, a month after the release of Final Shape, and Whisper will be releasing as Final Shape drops next week. Also, a tidbit of information based on the uh, new weapons that we're going to be getting in Into the Light. Uh, there was uh, originally some controversy around it being time-gated on when the weapons were going to release. That has basically been abolished. All weapons will be farmable starting April 30th. So from there, we had a look at three of the brand new Crucible maps that are going to be coming to Destiny 2 as well. One is going to be a Europa-based map with uh, Aramis Kell from House Salvation. The stage actually acting as like her little hideout on Europa. I do apologize that the name of the map escapes me at the moment, but we do have the names of the other two maps. Niamuna will be joining the Crucible PvP list with a map called Cirrus Plaza, and we are going to be getting something very, very reminiscent of Root of Nightmares in a pyramid ship map called Dissonance. On top of that, they talked about another event coming called Pantheon, which they said that we would get more information on that in a twid later on, probably either this week or next week for sure. And how they described it would be a weekly raid boss challenge. Now, I don't know if this means that we're going to be having like a boss rush mode coming to the game. I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. Uh, but I have a feeling it's going to be something along the lines of like there's going to be challenges that you can grab. Kind of akin to uh, Marsov's Wishes. That's going to require you and your teammates or clanmates to go into a raid and fulfill certain obligations and then kill the raid boss. Uh, some new information for brand new players looking to hop right in that have either not played for a very, very long time or this is your first time playing. New players will get to skip the New Light campaign completely and jump right into the action with your friends. Characters will also be able to change how they look, starting with Into the Light, as well as being given an additional name change token to change up that name if you need to. And then last but not least, they announced that there will be one more developer showcase next week, which will be a showcase showing off brand new stuff for Destiny 2, The Final Shape. This is everything I have in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you later.